Alright. Ha ha ha, got you. Alright. So. I want to say this wasn't a... It's a good movie, but it wasn't easy to watch. I couldn't get into it, really. Until, like, the last half. Even that, I had to rewind. Because I kept watching other videos. But. It's the curse of Lala Rona. And, no, I'm not going to be wearing the Santa hat. Or have the background for every review I do in December. Just for Christmas movies. So. Just know that. I'm almost done with this. And okay, Annabelle comes home, hopefully I can knock that out tonight, and I can do a, uh, ranking tonight, because tomorrow I want to start a new Christmas movies, and then the 12 Rounds trilogy, I'm going to get those going, so, i got the Marine movies to do, but I'm missing five. I'm not sure when five is going to come in the mail, though, so, we'll see. So let's talk about The Curse of La La Rona. It's a movie. Bye? No. So it's based on a legend about a, uh, from what I gathered, a woman, uh, has a husband and kids, and she, her husband cheats on her with a younger woman, and so she drowns her kids, and then drowns herself. And this takes the legend further by her going after other people's kids. And it's a woman named Patricia, who is visited by a social worker, Anna, who's our main character played by Linda Cardellini. And when she sees what's going on in the house, she thinks that Patricia is abusing her kids. But what's really going on is a lot of Rona is after them, and she's got them locked in. Even the kids don't want to come out. It doesn't work. And the kids are found drowned, and Patricia is to blame, is blamed for it. Shortly afterwards, Anna and her kids are now being stalked by La Llorona. Uh, I don't know if they say it specifically, but it has something to do with the fact that Patricia was praying that he would, that La Llorona, La Llorona would take Anna's kids instead of hers. But they took, she, she took Anna's kids, and that, or she took Patricia's kids, and now she's after Anna's kids. So, when Anna finally realizes what's going on, they go to a, they go to Father Perez from the Annabelle movie, from Annabelle, and he recommends them to a pastor named Raphael, who's hesitant at first, played by Raymond Cruz, so I'm going to have to call him Reverend Tuco. <laughs> He's Tuco from uh, Breaking Bad, but Reverend Tuco... Goes to the house, he does this thing with eggs, and then he tries to, you know, prevent Ladorona from getting the kids. He does this thing where he sprinkles this seeds from the tree, I guess, and from a tree where she drowned or something, I don't know, and it keeps her out. So you think, it's done, right? Oh no, it's, done. it's not done. She's out there, she wants in, but how can she get in? What's going on? Well, she... Teases the little girl with her doll, which the girl goes out. And the the found flix guy said that she messed up the seeds. But in the movie, the little girl specifically says, I didn't mess up the seeds. It goes after her. And just because it comes after doesn't mean that the seeds are messed up. She leaves the door open and it gets her. But able to get, they're able to get her away. Um, it's a pool scene stuff. Tuco, Reverend Tuco does the holy water thing and gets rid of her. Uh, then they get back in the house, but Patricia shows up and wants to give Anna's kids to La Yorona to get her kids back. And it ends up with, uh, the kids going up to the basement while Reverend Tuco and Anna... Anna's locked in the basement. They go up to the attic. I mean, uh, Anna's locked in the basement. Robert Tuco is knocked out. And was it this the scene in the in the attic where uh, during the thing during the scuffle in the pool, a pendant 
that belonged to Yorona uh, was found by the girl. And the boy holds it up to distract her, but he's, he's moving backwards and knocks this blanket or tarp or something off the mirror. This makes now Yorona see herself and uh, it makes her turn back into the monster. And then uh, Reverend Tuko and Anna come up after Patricia has a change of heart and lets Anna out of the face and says, go, save them. Here's my problem with this part here. Anna starts running up the stairs first, and Reverend Tuchel is shortly behind her. But Reverend, but when they get up there, Reverend Tuchel comes through the door first. I know it's possible for that to happen, but it's not likely. He was a little behind her. She like darted up the stairs, and he started getting up and went up right at, right after her. But there, there, you know, there was a gap, and he's somehow in front of her when they get up there. Anyway, he uses. And he tries to use the cross, but he gets knocked back. And then she stabs. Anna stabs La La Rona with, with the... With the... Yeah. The cross. And, um... Well... This, was, this wasn't marketed as part of the Conjuring universe. Because, I, mean, I don't know, maybe they thought it was going to fail. And so they wanted to... Kind of themselves. It's a decent film, to be sure. Uh, but they, they had Father Cor Father Perez is a connection. He's the only connection in the film, but there was the leading connection. Uh, at the end of the film, we see Reverend Tuco saying goodbye to Anna and her kids. You know, they hug. He hugs them, and he goes into this taxi and drives away. An extended ending. There's more afterwards, but an extended ending. Um, uh, Anna gives the necklace pendant to Reverend Tuco and he, he says I know a couple out east that deal with so stuff like this it's the Warrens the deleted scenes even called the Warrens handoff but they kept that out for some reason I think it would I think it would have been better in there final part sees kids Anna going back you know up the stairs the kids run up Anna starts walking up, and the camera pans down to a puddle of tears, which is, you know, uh, like you're wrong, a little weeping woman. And you see Anna slowly turn in the tears. Is Anna destined to become the next La Llorona? I don't know. Could it possibly be a sequel? Who knows? I don't, I don't. This movie didn't do too bad, I, I heard. And it's not that bad of a film, to be honest. I don't really have to make problems with it. Uh, the jump scares... With, I'm not going to complain about jump scares in the Conjuring movies because, you know, you got to get used to that, you know. Uh, but other than that, it's not really that bad of a film. I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. It's a pretty good movie. A little just for walking. But yeah, um, I just remember Supernatural's on tonight. But I'm going to try to get these done because I don't want to have to do anything else with Conjuring tomorrow. So I'm trying to get Annabelle comes home done, get the ranking video done. So I want to get it done. So, yeah. Uh, what are your thoughts on The Curse of Light? Everyone, let me know in the comments below. Like, share, and subscribe. Love, peace, and chicken grease.